Today, we're reading My Father's Dragon. This book is by Ruth Stiles Gannett and is illustrated by Ruth Chrisman Gannett. So two different women named Ruth Gannett, Ruth Gannett, with different middle names. That's very suspicious. I wonder if they're from the same family, if they're relatives. I don't know the answer to that. That's an I wonder about the author and illustrator. This book was written in 1948. That's 72 years ago. This book is almost as old as my mom. That's my kid's grandma. There are three books in the series. This is the first book, My Father's Dragon. My Father's Dragon has 10 chapters. The contents page shows us the chapters. My father meets the cat. My father runs away. My father finds the island. My father finds the river. My father meets some tigers. My father meets a rhinoceros. My father meets a lion. My father meets a gorilla. My father makes a bridge. Makes a bridge. He's going to make a bridge. Hmm. And my father finds the dragon. So at the end, he's going to find the dragon. Hmm. I guess the dragon isn't a main character in this story, if the dragon is only at the very end of the story. Interesting. Oh, I love this book. I'm so excited to read this book to you. I love this book. I read it to my first grade class almost every year. I've probably read this book 15 times. It's great. You can see the pictures are in black and white. They're great pictures. They're really cute. This is Elmer, our main character. And this is an alley cat who he meets in the first chapter. My father meets the cat. One cold, rainy day, when my father was a little boy, he met an old alley cat on his street. The cat was very drippy and uncomfortable. So my father said, wouldn't you like to come home with me? This surprised the cat. She had never before met anyone who cared about old alley cats. But she said, I'd be very much obliged if I could sit by a warm furnace and perhaps have a saucer of milk. We have a very nice furnace to sit by, said my father. And I'm sure my mother has an extra saucer of milk. My father and the cat became good friends, but my father's mother was very upset about the cat. She hated cats, particularly ugly old alley cats. You see her wagging her finger at him. No, no, no. I told you no, 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 or I don't like cats. I wonder what she's going to say. Elmer Elevator, she said to my father, if you think I'm going to give that cat a saucer of milk, you're very wrong. Once you start feeding stray alley cats, you might as well expect to feed every stray in town, and I'm not going to do it. I think that's when she's wagging her finger. Not going to do it. This made my father very sad, and he apologized to the cat because his mother had been so rude. He told the cat to stay anyway, and that somehow he would bring her a saucer of milk each day. My father fed the cat for three weeks. But one day, his mother found the cat's saucer in the cellar, and she was extremely angry. She whipped my father and threw the cat out the door. But later on, my father sneaked out and found the cat. Together, they went for a walk in the park and tried to think of nice things to talk about. My father said, when I grow up, I'm going to have an airplane. Wouldn't it be wonderful to fly just anywhere you might think of? Would you like to fly very, very much? Asked the cat. I certainly would. I'd do anything if I could fly. Well, said the cat, if you'd really like to fly that much, I think I know of a sort of a way you might get to fly while you're still a little boy. You mean you know where I can get an airplane? Well, not exactly an airplane, but something even better. As you can see, I'm an old cat now. But in my younger days, I was quite a traveler. My traveling days are over, but last spring, 
I took just one more trip and sailed to the island of Tangerina, stopping at the port of Cranberry. Well, it just so happened that I missed the boat, and while waiting for the next, I thought I'd look around a bit. I was particularly interested in a place called Wild Island, which we had passed on our way to Tangerina. Wild Island and Tangerina are joined together by a long string of rocks, but people never go to Wild Island because it's mostly jungle and inhabited by very wild animals. So I decided to go across the rocks and explore it for myself. It certainly is an interesting place, but I saw something there that made me want to weep. Weep? Oh, do you know the word weep? Weep means crying and crying and crying of sadness and sorrow. Lots of crying because you're so sad. I wonder what the cat saw there that made her so sad and want to weep. Hmm. That's the end of chapter one. Let's stop and talk for a minute. All right. That's chapter one. Two questions, two things to think about. Number one, think about the names of those places. The Port of Cranberry, the Island of Tangerina, and Wild Island. Now, the cat tells us, Wild Island, people don't go there because it's full of wild animals. Do you think maybe it's called Wild Island because it's full of wild animals? It makes sense. So if that's true, if that's right, we don't know, but if that's right, then what do you think about the island of Tangerina? Does the name Tangerina make you think of anything? Have you heard of tangerines? They're a kind of orange. So I wonder if there are tangerines on the island of Tangerina. And the ship is going to the port of Cranberry. Have you heard of cranberries? Cranberries are berries. So tangerines and cranberries are both food. Why would the port where ships go and bring stuff and take things away, why would the port be called Cranberry? And the port is probably a town. Towns have the same name as the port to where they're built. So let's keep those questions in our head while we keep reading. And the other question is, is this a fiction story or a non-fiction now, you can remember that fiction means fake, because they both start with an F. Fiction and fake. So is this a fake fiction story? Or is it non-fiction, not fake, real? What do you think? And why? How can you tell it's fiction, it's fake, or non-fiction, it's real? How can you tell? Let's read the next chapter.